So, me, John, and Steve just watched I Am Legend, and I've decided to pull the coolest prank ever. Day one. If I was under siege, I would be a wuss like Will Smith, man. I would totally just be cool with that. I'd be like, go out and fight off all the monsters and be super awesome. I mean, pfft, that guy's a baby. I mean, please, really? Like, freaking out about it and all that type of stuff? I would totally be better than that. I'd be a man. I'm Legend is so fake. Dead, dead zombie guys from a cancer cure? Like, that, that would never happen, no. But if it did, let me tell you. I would not be hiding off with my dog somewhere alone in a building. I'd get with a group of friends. I'd get like a baseball bat or something. And if somebody came knocking on my door, I'd just bash their skull in. Like, I, I don't see what the big deal is. Why, why does he have to like lock himself in at night? If they come, just beat him up. I don't get it. So, I'm gonna run inside, screaming, and make them believe that there's a siege outside. Day one of the siege. Um, so I think that they're starting and they're trying to make their move. I mean, I mean, Steve, what's the update? I, I think I see one of them, but it's kind of dark outside. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, wait. I think it's a cop. I think I see one. We're, 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 we're starting to freak out, man. This is, this is getting a little weird. Nick, I, I really think that we should be prepared in case they try to, like, make an attack. Do you have any teddy, I mean, teddy bear? Guns? Do you have any guns or, or weapons or, or anything that'll work? Come to my armory. Just take, take, take this, take this, and, 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 and take this. And... Nick? Hey, 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 Nick. Is there, is, is there a free state at your house tonight? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, um, Nick's saying that it's really suggested that we should, like, I don't know, start heading to sleep or something. So, I'm gonna try and get a little shut eye, but, um, I have a feeling I, it's gonna be sort of hard to sleep. So, I, I'm, I'm gonna sleep with my trumpet, and in case somebody tries to attack me in the night, I can, I can signal my buddies. So, everyone else has gone to bed, but I've agreed to take the first shift at guarding the door tonight. At around 2, I get awake, someone else up, and switch places. I really, I, I don't think there's anything to worry about. I'm sure the cops got handled, but, you know, better safe than sorry, I guess. So, I've taken my shift on sentry duty, and, well, I guess technically it's day two now of our siege, but, um, it's about 4.15 in the morning, and I'm sitting here by the door, and I'm starting to freak out, I'm, like, hearing rattling noises, and, uh, uh, Nick's just over there sleeping, man, I don't even know how he's staying asleep, but... Sarah, only you understand. Man, I, I, I guess Sarah. he's, I guess he's, um, uh, comforted by, by, by Sarah, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's comfortable, but I'm starting to freak out, man, it's starting to get a little weird. It's day two of the prank, and I guess I'm supposed to be on sentry duty right now, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over this. I'm going to bed. So I just I just woke up, and it's it's the morning of of day two of of us being under siege. And um, last night I was given the responsibility of being in charge of food and rations. So I'm I'm gonna go check out the fridge, and and well. It looks, it, okay. It looks like looks like we've got 
a lot of food, but but I'm I have I have the responsibility to make sure that this has enough to last us for two years because we're just being over prepared and we don't know how long this is gonna last. So that's gonna last us two years, and I think we'll be covered. So it's day three, and I've decided to shake things up a little bit. It's day three now, and. We really haven't heard anything or seen anything that would really imply that there's ninjas out there at Tagwood. Ah! <gasps> they cut off the power! They cut off the power! And, well, I just, I'm starting to freak out now. I found a flashlight, and so it makes everything a little bit spooky. But, oh, there's a But, but, I just, I'm going to take the time, because I don't know how much longer I have. And I just, I'm, okay, to that kid in kindergarten that I pushed on the side, I'm sorry, I, I really do love you, and, and to, Je Je to Jessica out there, uh, I've always loved you, Jessica. <laughs> so, it's day seven, and a couple days ago, they're getting really freaked out about the power not being on, so I decided to pretend like I'm a mechanical genius, and I somehow got the power back on. But, for new development, I'm just going to take like half of our food supply and stash it somewhere else. Yeah. So it's day seven, I haven't had anything to eat for a while because, well, the rations have us pretty low, but I'm getting kind of hungry, so I think I'm gonna dig into my Irish rations a little. <gasps> the food's gone! I think I blame Steve. I swear every time that guy's always over there eating food. Gosh. Okay, I know it's gross, but when I get nervous, I eat peaches, okay? And. Right now, it's just one of those times when peaches are a good comfort food, okay? And don't judge me. Everyone's got their little little things. No. No. So, I'm... Um... Steve gave me a can. I think they're starting to crack. <laughs> 